Welcome to What's New in SOLIDWORKS 2025, hosted by SOLIDWORKS Live. We'll be uncovering the biggest enhancements within the SOLIDWORKS 2025 release. In SOLIDWORKS 2025, we trust that you'll enjoy for many months and years to come, new features and improvements that will help you accelerate your product development with tons of designer-driven enhancements to the industry standard in collaborative 3D design. Each area of our product was challenged with deliver a big impactful difference. The vision we have is to support our customers end to end, right? So from the early ideation or even marketing research through design, which is what SOLIDWORKS largely focuses on, all the way through manufacturing and beyond. And the team is really obsessed with enhancing the product in, in the way that our users want it enhanced. So we, to do that, we have to do a tremendous amount of listening. This part has over 26,000 triangles, which means that curved faces appear smooth, but it also means that maybe the part performance is reduced. Sometimes faces with tight curvature are a common culprit, and this variable fillet is a little bit pinched. So in 2025, I'm going to use the new continuous edge blend option to kind of smooth that out. Now in 2025, we have new enhancements like breadcrumb selections. This is awesome because you can go through and navigate the hierarchy of that assembly, now, you'll also see that interference detection in 2025 is now supported for that LDR mode. This is a really awesome enhancement if you're working on big assemblies. If you need to check for major interferences before you could only do this when it was resolved, we'll see support here. So one of the things right off the bat is just from a UI perspective, on the command manager, you can now add SOLIDWORKS PDM tab to your toolbar. It's fully populated with all those kind of common commands like the get command. What's new about this in 2025 is one, added the revision column, and two, anywhere you access the git command, you can now check out your designs. This year, we included in it a new option in detailed cut list where you can actually calculate the quantity based on the bomb quantity. So this is just another development to make it possible to do anything you can do in a detailed cut list in a normal bill of materials now. Now, as a mechanical engineer, I want to be able to determine, are my connectors and cables going to be able to fit? Are the clearances sufficient? Like how much room is there in and around the mechanisms and the enclosures? And of course, what about finger clearances uh, during assembly? Sometimes you don't just want to exclude one part. You might have 50 parts and you only want to simulate three of them. Well, instead of suppressing 47 parts, you can now pick the parts that you need and then right click and say exclude others. Certainly there are times when you're just working in SOLIDWORKS and it's like, I just need to spiff this up for a presentation or for the website. I don't want to have to, you know, suddenly right now, I've never used Visualize, jump into a new tool and figure out where all the buttons are. And this year we've added something that will actually help in that area. We've added API access to Visualize. So in this example that you see here, I'm using a macro to just do a background render directly out of SOLIDWORKS. This is API access, so you can customize this exactly to the way that you want to use it. Again, this is just an example, but you can see this is a, a very common scenario where you're just working along and say, I suddenly need something for a presentation. I just swipe over, I get my rendering to a whatever folder I've set it to, and then I can just drag and drop those into my presentation and head over to my meeting. Thank you to all of you. First, for your continued choice to leverage SOLIDWORKS in helping to make your amazing designs come to life. And secondly, for making this worldwide design community what it is today.